and let's see. Um, uh, engagement with learning. I encourage students to be very engaged in their learning. I encourage them to be at class on time. I encourage them to have a good attitude. And uh, I will talk, I will give feedback throughout the course on how well I think people are engaged. And if anybody, I, I offer this up, if you want to, me to give you a score on your engagement, at this point from my perspective, I'll give it to you. But this is a place where if people aren't getting their work done on time, if they're not coming to class, if they're not participating, it's a way for me to, to show them that that's not acceptable and also a way to reward the students who do all of those things appropriately. There are three new things on here, and I, maybe I'll talk about those um, after I go through how I grade this. But there's another thing I'm doing called a foundational exam having the, them do concept maps and connection sheets, and then having them create uh, flashcards for helping them practice their own retention of the important concepts. So, step one in my grading. Every day, every class day, I collect one piece of work and it's random it will fall in here let me just throw another color on here it will either be um, a connection sheet a describe or define sheet a reflection um, a homework problem It'll usually be one of those four things and um, I take them and either while the students are doing their activity or at night I will go through and I will grade that piece of uh, grade the collected item when I come back to class the next day I hand back the collected item and I say if you got a two on this here's what it means if you got a three on this here's what it means if you got a four on this here's what it means I do not use that grade to come up with their final score. I believe my philosophy is that it's far more important what they've achieved at the end of the course than it is how they were doing as they developed throughout the course. And so that kind of follows through with almost everything I do here. Grade the collected item, give feedback next day. Then the second thing I do is I have them uh, bring a binder to me at the end of the course. And in this binder will be all of the problems, all of the reflections, all of the worksheets, their concept map, and their DLA report. I'll come back to the DLA in a moment. I then grade one time. Um, I evaluate the overall set of, now you can fill it in, homework problems and notes, reflections, worksheets, concept maps, connections, whatever. And I I come up with one score, and let's say that my score on the whole body of reflections is 4.25. I write that in. I've got a spreadsheet that's doing the work for me, and it multiplies 100 times 4.25 and gives me 425 points. And I do that for um, all of these things, the notes and the... I've already got the check marks there. So the notes and the problems, the reflections, the worksheets concept maps um, and you know maybe they I give them a score of 3.5 on the notes and problems so that's 350 score of 4.5 on the worksheets for 450 
give them a score of three on the concept map and connections, 300. And when I'm doing that evaluation, I first look to see, I look at all the reflections and I say, number one, are they all here? If the answer to that is no, there is no way that I will award a score of four or better because incomplete work is not desired. After I look at that, I then look at the quality of the last three or four submissions, the last three or four reflections. And if they are of high quality and all of the reflections are there, I come up with my score. And uh, I'll give a high score of 4.3, 4 4.4. If the quality in those last three or four reflections isn't good, then I'll, I'll go and I'll look at all the reflections. And I'll get a sense for myself. It, did the quality improve as I gave them feedback? If yes, that's a positive. If no, well, that just irritates me. So that's a negative. So I give lower scores right, when, they're, when they're not achieving the quality desired. And so the bottom line is that I just assign one grade one time to each of these things. And the whole purpose of collecting the, the one piece of work every day in the course and grading the item and giving it back to them was this key word of feedback to help them calibrate where they are, understand what they need to do, whether they're performing well, I tell them that, they're almost performing well, I tell them how to get there, etc. All right, um, I also uh, grade the DLA on that last day, but another part of the DLA that I do is I give them the opportunity to submit it early basically the week before the last week, and I'll give them feedback. And most of my students take advantage of this. They submit their report. I give them feedback and say, well, if you'd have done this, 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 and this, you would have met a desired level. And some of them do, some of them don't. And I come up with a score, maybe it's a four, 800. Um, oral exam, of course, you do that at the oral exam time, and you have an oral exam grade sheet, and the, the student earns a score. You know, maybe it's a 3.8. And now i got to do math. Uh, 760. I judge their engagement of the learning. I, I just have to go with my own best judgment based on uh, observations I make throughout the course. If a student isn't showing up regularly, I take notes to myself. Maybe a four. So now we have these two things that you probably have never seen before. The foundation exam and the flashcards. I'll go with the flashcards first. I'm asking students to create flashcards. This, this comes again out of the Bozer work on practicing, describing things to themselves. So I want them, and there's a, an app for uh, Androids or iPhones called Anki, which is basically an electronic flashcard. So I'm really encouraging my students to practice describing these important concepts and principles to themselves. And so I'm going to give them some sort of score on the documentation that they developed. That long. 175, there we go. All right, then the foundation exam. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to put that into this video. If the, found, if the idea of a foundation exam interests you, call me, text me, talk to me in the hallway, give me, uh, send me an email. It is a new item that I'm using. It's something I learned from Patrick Mathias, who is a teacher at uh, ICC. So let's say that a student achieved a 4.3 on their foundation exam. 
add all that up, get a score, divide that score by a thousand, bring it over here. Let's just say maybe, I'm not going to do the math here, just by judging, I'd say it's somewhere in the uh, high threes, low fours, maybe it's a 3.95, 3.95, that would be a B plus. So, there it is, that's uh, my uh, approach to our grading philosophy and how uh, I do grading in a course. Please feel free to steal anything that I do, ask me questions,